For weeks, U.S. importers have been urging the Trump administration to reduce some of the tariffs it's put in place over the last 24 months. A tax on $400 billion worth of inbound goods, from European cheeses and jets to Brazilian aluminum and steel and Chinese gadgets and apparels. The appeal largely falling on deaf ears. There's no reason to do that. They haven't even spoken to me about that. Uh, China hasn't asked me to do that, but we're getting billions of dollars a year from tariffs from China. And uh, I can't imagine Americans asking for that. The tariffs are actually being paid by Americans, notes one group representing some 160 business associations in this letter to the president. Quote, Americans for Free Trade urges you to consider taking swift action on a policy that would provide tax relief to millions of American farmers, manufacturers, families, and consumers without having to wait on action from Congress. The spread of COVID-19, the group argues, has made a tariff reduction all the more crucial. And as for Beijing, this was China's foreign ministry spokesman just last week. We must try our best to ease international trade tensions, eliminate unilateral tariff, and jointly maintain the smooth global industrial chain and supply chain. One economist calculates the Trump administration has added new taxes onto roughly $5 billion worth of medical exports from China, items American hospitals now need, costing them more and more to buy. The U.S. Central Bank and Treasury Department announced this week wide-scale economic relief programs that don't include tariff reductions. One former U.S. trade official saying now is the time for the U.S. and China to work together to help the rest of the world navigate through this crisis. Rolling back tariffs, she added, would be a good first step. Rowie Ruttenberg, CGTN in Washington.